Right people, today let's talk about all things iMac. We have a new M4 model coming very soon and there's still rumours about the larger model in the works. So let's dive right in. Beginning with the 24 inch model, German has now told us in multiple reports that this will be one of the first Macs getting the M4 chipset alongside the MacBook Pro and Mac Mini. And it should release towards the end of this year. So probably at an October Mac event, similar to the M3 model last year. Now this news is certainly surprising because it took nearly Apple three years to update the 24 inch iMac from M1 to M3. So the fact that updating M4 so soon has caught me off guard a little, I can't lie. I've always argued it makes sense to not upgrade the 24 inch iMac very often because it's a low volume product and the user base for the machine, schools and families, likely won't care about having a slightly faster chipset, but hey, I'll guess I'll take the 0.001% faster performance. And that's likely it for the changes, but I would like to see some new colors and also type C accessories launch with this new model because we need to eradicate lightning off this earth immediately. You know what else you should be doing immediately? Subscribing to the channel, of course. I would greatly appreciate it and would bring you the latest about Apple right to subscription box, so please consider it. It would be appreciated. Join the Saran Bike gang now. Anyways, let's now talk about a higher end or larger iMac that's been in the works for a long, long time. I remember talking about this during the early days of this channel with a baby version of me that did not have this luscious beard. But surprisingly, it's still not out yet. I was initially expecting Apple to compensate for the lack of an iMac Pro by giving us an M3 Pro option for the 24 inch. Apple has done this in the past with the 21.5 inch iMac where of course, you could upgrade to higher end CPU and GPU options for Pro workflows. And so I really think they should have done the same with the 24 inch iMac. Yes, I know people are gonna say, this is a desktop version of a MacBook Air, should not get Pro level chipsets but I get comments from you guys waiting for an iMac Pro since the base level chipsets don't offer enough power for your workflow. And so M3 Pro in the existing size option would be nice for that demographic till of course we get the iMac Pro. I know you can get the M2 Pro Mac Mini or the Mac Studio, but of course that's not the same thing for those who want the all-in-one experience. And so whilst the chances of this happening are low, I'm really hoping the new model gets the M4 and the M4 Pro. But you probably want to know about the mysterious iMac Pro. When is this bloody thing actually releasing? We have been hearing about this machine since the conception of Apple Silicon. And guess what guys? breaking news, it's still coming soon. Great. So yes, Crow and German in their new reports say a higher end iMac is coming in 2025. Yes, I said 2025 and could feature a 32 inch mini LED panel. Now I do want to mention guys in the past, there has been some confusion between new Macs and new standalone displays. For example, in 2022, there was a lot of information regarding a 27 inch LCD iMac in the works, but that turned out to be the studio display. So I would not be surprised if suddenly everyone says, hey, that's not an iMac Pro. The 32 inch mini LED panel is a new Pro display. But hopefully this is the iMac Pro at last because I've been blabbering on about this for years and I would love to see it launch at last. And this large iMac won't just be a bigger version of the 24 inch, there's actually gonna be a few differences. For one, we could see black bezels because it's a pro machine and pros don't want disgusting white bezels. And so I'm sure to some this will actually be an upgrade of sorts with the iMac Pro. Though to be honest guys, I would not mind if it looks identical to the 24 inch because the white bezels did grow on me, but yeah, let's be honest guys, an iMac Pro likely won't come in any fun color choices. Apple believes pros don't want fun colors. They just want different shades of gray instead. And so this will likely come in silver and space black like the MacBook Pros. Now for the most part, it should essentially look like the old iMac Pro we had, but without the Apple logo on the front and also slimmer bezels. The chin could disappear, but I think it's gonna stay considering it's the iconic look that distinguishes the iMac from the competition. But now let's talk about the internal upgrades because unlike the 24 inch model that only comes with the base level chipsets, this larger iMac with its much larger thermal envelope could support the Max and Pro variants of Apple's chipset and so this will very much be an alternative option for those thinking of buying the Mac Studio or the M2 Pro Mac Mini. You can either have the flexibility of a desktop and have the computer and monitor as separate devices, or you can have the all-in-one experience. Now, yes, I'm aware this iMac might sound worse on paper because when it does lose support, the display kind of becomes redundant. Whereas with a studio display and Mac Studio, for example, you can continue using the display till it stops working because the computer is separate. However, I think some just prefer less cluttered all-in-one experience. And considering the iMac is a famous product line in Apple's range, 
they can't kill this off completely. Plus, with the era of Apple Silicon, you don't really have to worry too much about supports. This hypothetical iMac Pro could get supported for a decade, and so you're definitely getting a money's worth with this machine. Now, I know some in the comments of my previous videos have said they want a base version of the larger iMac as well, for those who don't need the additional performance. But I'm going to be honest, guys, I don't think that's going to happen because it doesn't make sense to offer different variants of a product that appeals to very small niche of consumers in the first place. And so if you want the bigger screen, you'll have to pay the extra for the additional performance as well. To be fair, this was the case before Apple Silicon as well. The 27 inch models always had more power under the hood compared to the 21.5 inch models. And so it makes sense for Apple to continue doing this in my opinion. Plus, if you really want the big display experience for less, just get the studio display and a base Mac mini and voila, that's basically your entry level 27 inch iMac to be honest. Anyways, how much money are we going to be throwing at Timothy for this new iMac Pro? Well, no one's really told us what to expect in terms of pricing, but I'm going to theorize it could be somewhere between $2,500 to $3,000. That is DPS, but do remember the iMac Pro essentially is a desktop version of the 16-inch MacBook Pro, but of course with a much larger mini LED panel. And so I think the price makes sense. Also because the Mac Studio is now in the range, anything lower than $2,500 is instantly going to cannibalize that. So yes, I think somewhere between $2,500 and $3,000 makes the most sense. So that's everything regarding the larger iMac Pro and I'm just hoping there's no more delays and we actually get the final product within the next year or so because I'm getting bored of making these rumor recap videos. I can't keep blabbering on about this new iMac forever guys. But the general lack of progress with the iMac Pro development really signifies the fact all-in-ones are not very popular anymore. People would much rather buy laptops and desktops and Apple's rapidly updating those because they are in demand. But because the iMac is iconic, they are keeping it around for the small portion of consumers who still want the all-in-one experience and of course the handful of schools who use it for IT lessons. Also, we have heard about OLED eventually coming to the Mac range and so I do wonder if Apple's going to try and delay and try and implement OLED in the large iMac as well. Honestly, I hope that's not the case. I just want this thing to release and mini LED is pretty good as is. So yes, please Apple, prioritize on getting this out and letting consumers buy this. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching Apple event season. It's time to get excited as Apple releases the same phone again in a new color. But choke aside, we do actually have some exciting rumors about the iPhone 16 series. So let's dive right in. Number one, you may be wondering about the release of iPhone 16 because we have...